Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a look at the uh, famous Windows 95 in the browser website, which is pretty cool. So here it is, and uh, it's really, really working well. Here I am in the web browser and uh, into Windows 95. Look at that. This is so cool. Time is okay. Uh, not GMT though. I'm time zone. Let's uh, give the right time zone minus five. So um, basically, I'm in the Edge browser right now. So if you're wondering, and I'll put the link for those that want to uh, have fun playing with Windows 95. And here it is. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now. For all of those that want to go into Windows 95 into the browser, I have a word of caution. The Windows 95 browser um, window took about 10 minutes in my computer on, well, I've, I've tried it on Chrome, I've tried it on Edge. On Chrome it took about 15, 10 to 15 minutes before it actually appeared. In, in Edge, it appeared faster, maybe less than 10 minutes. But be warned, if you are going to use this, you need to understand that this is compiled in uh, a form of JavaScript, and it takes time to actually appear, load, and work. But wow, this is what memories. Incredible. This is Windows 95 like it was back then. Let's check the system here. What does it tell me in the system? So it's emulating on 8486 with 16 megabytes of RAM. And it's Windows 95 version 400950C. So this, I believe, is the last version that was available. Let's check the device manager. So depending on what you do, it might crash. So be warned as it's uh, really really you know just a test this has been compiled and uh, that little 19 year old guy really worked hard to make this work so uh, it's pretty cool uh, from all of the posts that I was seeing a lot of people were mentioning that depending on the programs you launch there's a lot of crashes so uh, it's possible that uh, it does. Let's see here. Can I start uh, Solitaire or Free Cell? Let's check uh, Solitaire. Does it work? Yeah, it does. Can I actually play it? Uh, yes, I can. Wow, this is cool. I'm playing a game of Solitaire in Windows 95. So uh, amazing. This is amazing. In the description below the video, I will give you the link. Like I said, be very patient. It takes a lot of time for it to actually work. So uh, if you're patient, you'll have it running. Don't come to me and say, hey, uh, you know, it's not working. It takes, uh, I've waited 10 minutes and didn't work. It's eventually going to work. And it works in Microsoft Edge. So if you want to uh, use it, lots of uh, fond memories. You can have it full screen if you want. Let's just try this. Does Internet Explorer work or is it going to crash? Default browser. Um, yeah, I'll say no and uh, see what it does. Can I actually go on the internet with this? I'm not sure. Well, my mouse pointer stopped working, so I guess it might have frozen or crashed when I was 95. That's what I was reading on uh, many websites uh, where people were mentioning they've tried it. And also a few uh, bigger websites like PC World. And they were mentioning that there's not a lot of things that actually work. So um, really, it really crashed here. But it's amazing to see that you actually have the possibility to run Windows. Uh, an emulation of Windows 95. And so this is uh, basically like a DOS box running the um, Windows emulation, but it was uh, sent to JavaScript using another tool. Really amazing. So that's the Windows 95, and uh, for those that had Windows 95, 
what's really cool is when you start it you have the Windows 95 little sound from the startup it is amazingly um, brings you back in time can tell you that so here it seems to have crashed from my Internet Explorer so try it out I'll be posting the uh, link in the description below the video and uh, don't ask too much but uh, you can play around a little and uh, have fun just testing out this web version of uh, Windows 95. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. We'll try to post a video. Thank you for watching.